don't know. Have you gotten the news on the suspension? Yeah, it's four games. Your reaction? Uh, I mean, not happy about it, but uh, what are you going to do at this point? I mean, obviously it wasn't my intent to, to injure the player, and uh, I don't hope he's doing all right. Did you get any kind of feedback from the league on why it is so it seems harsh four games? Um, yeah, well, uh, obviously it's uh, kind of that repeat, uh, repeat offense thing. I think, you know, the the probation time is like 18 months or something like that, and I'm at 17, so uh, another another tough break. But, um, you know, like, like I said, not much you could do. I mean, I, I felt like I, I did what I could, and you never want to see stuff like that happen. And um, Like I said, I just hope he's all right and, and gets back to 100%. Have you been able to get in touch with him? I know that you wanted to apologize after the game. You were even right on the ice afterwards, you were kind of like looking at him. Yeah, um, no, I haven't yet uh, gotten the chance to. I mean, I, I actually got his number. Um, so I haven't reached out to him yet. I, I probably will be in the future, uh, you know, depending on how he's doing and stuff. But like I said, it's, it's never an intention. I mean, I think it was pretty obvious that, uh, you know, I felt uh, pretty bad about it after the situation. So uh, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. Does it change the way you play the game moving forward, Nas? No, no, not at all. Um, I'm still going to play hard uh, every single night. Um, you know, and try to try to do what you can. Sometimes being physical is, is an opportunity to get yourself in the game, get your teammates involved in the game. But it was just in that particular uh, situation that um, you know, things kind of unraveled uh, really quickly. It's been a tough stretch for you, hasn't it? Uh, given the a number of games you haven't been able to play. That's always tough. Uh, you want to play as many games as you can, and you know, stuff watching on the sidelines when uh, the guys in here are going to work. So that's that's probably the hardest part about it. I don't care about you know. Um, the money or any, anything else, or it's just kind of being out there with the guys and uh, each and every single night just going to, going to work. So it's a bit of a tough, tough situation, like I said, but not much you can do right now is just work hard to get back. Are you worried that you get, you know, I mean, that repeat offender status, how annoying is that? And you obviously you've made it clear you don't consider yourself that type of player, and yet you seem to be yeah. getting that tag now. No, not at all. I mean, uh, that's uh, just one of the hits that, that kind of goes down in the rule book. I mean, I've had bunch of hits before that they've been totally fine totally clean so it's uh, you know I like my percentages when I'm, when I'm trying to hit somebody but uh, <clears throat> again like I said it's it's never my intent to, to hit anybody in the head um, it was kind of a bang bang play and, and uh, you know the puck kind of got stalled and, and uh, next thing you know who was kind of lying on the ground so that's that's tough to see a little bit when you come back I think there'd be something like seven games left what do you hope to kind of make how do you make the most of those games it's great good habits going to next year. Um, play with a positive mentality and positive attitude and just bring energy. So, uh, you know, right now I'm just going to you know, do, do what I have been doing and uh, you know, continue to work hard and um, you know, look for my next opportunity to get back in the lineup. How long was the hearing and uh, how do you feel you defended yourself? Uh, I, I felt, I mean, I felt like we, you know, pleaded a pretty good case, and uh, you know, they obviously listened to it and had and, and understood what we had to say. The meeting was about, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes or something like that. So, uh, like I said, we brought up some very, very valid points, and so did they. So uh, it, it can kind of go both ways, but this is just one of those things where, uh, you know, I guess it just has to happen. Put it in a pretty rough. Eight days stretch for you personally. Can you relate anything like this, the way you've gone through the last little bit in your career? Um, not really. I haven't, uh, you know, really ever been, uh, you know, suspended prior to the, this uh, this week. So, uh, you know, it's obviously hard to hard to deal with. But you know, that being said, I'm not going to sit here and uh, you know whine about it. I'm just going to, you know, get to work, to practice every single day. We're professionals. We come to do what we love to do and. No matter if I'm on the sidelines or, or on the ice, I'm still gonna, you know, bring that positive mentality and, and positive attitude to the dressing room.